Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's our friendly buff. Today I'm here with Oyema Keiko and Claus. Right, so today's video is um, is about love. It's a season of love. And uh, today's topic is how to know if you love someone or how do you know if you love someone. Yeah, so um, it's a general question. So yeah. I think Keiko being here is going to start. Okay, so to me, what was the question again? How do you know if you love someone, or how do you know if mm. uh, how to how to know if you, if you, if you love if someone? someone. Yeah. yeah, I think I will start having some special feeling for the person. You know, start thinking about the person all the time, and also like anytime that I'm around the person, like I enjoy the person's um, company, that will make me feel like oh yeah, this one is special. This one, yeah, it looks like. I love a person with something, so that's that's what I would say about that. I think love is very sexual, sexual, which means like liking someone, being attracted to someone without there being any sexual attraction. If you can be with a person and just just enjoy each other emotionally, mentally, and all the other things, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Without there actually being any sexual contact, I think that's love. Right, and I also think that it shouldn't only be based on uh, emotions or feelings because I think love is a commitment yeah. and uh, if you are commit if you are committed to that person you know that uh, okay they were broke on a grammar <laughs> <laughs> but yeah as I said it's a commitment so for instance just as uh, the Bible tells us like you know God is love we have yeah. a commitment with love so if we do love God we, we, we what I don't even know how to say it. Why should you love God? You know how to you know share the love with a brother or a sister your neighbor. or your neighbor or even to the homeless because apparently we think that just loving uh, families and friends just means uh, you know love. But showing love to the homeless is also love. I mean. I would say caring for them as well is also love. So yeah. love is not only about feelings and all that and you know it's about being there for someone when they need help. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that's a bit. So the second question is fine. The first one was how how do you know no how how to know if you love someone? And the second one is how do you know if the person uh, you also love you both. Thank you. That's the really yeah. okay. So, to me, um, I wouldn't just base on feelings because sometimes we will we will base on feelings and then it might be lost. It might be lost. So I can't just base on feelings. So if I think someone loves me, the person should approach me and then tell me that oh, um, I feel this about you and maybe the person is very serious. Then the person will let me know that. Um, he wants to be serious with me. I think that one year, but you just texting me or calling me all the time without letting me know that you love me. I wouldn't just base on that and think that oh, this person loves me because all the time he calls me, he said to me like no, I just want to say it because it might be lost. Okay, what if he tells you, and obviously his intentions is lost, right? But he approaching you, he's not gonna let you know that all is about last and all that. And you are so into the person, and obviously, when you guys get together, and all of a sudden he's demanding for sex all the time. What do you do? Okay, yeah. Um, I'm I'm a Christian, so to me, I think we should have sex after ma like after marriage. It shouldn't be before marriage. So it shouldn't be before. So when I'm dating you. I'm not dating you because of sex. I'm not dating you because of you know romance and all that. Maybe I'm dating you for us to you know plan the future ahead, like think about that, build something, you know. But then we are humans and we are fallible. So maybe we are dating and then I might do like we might do certain things that are not right. But then being with you and then you demanding sex and all that, like. 
that means you're not you're not right you're not the right person for me it should happen naturally you understand it shouldn't be just you it's like you are self-centered yeah yeah so it should be the an agreement between the two it shouldn't be just just you yeah all right so since you both are dating would you what would you like or would you prefer you know dating or let me put it this way is it courtship or? yeah courtship. yeah yeah would you go in for a courtship or you know just yeah i will go in for that because i want to marry yeah. so yeah i would mean, be going for that because who who doesn't want to marry yeah, yeah. Do, right. so yeah i will go in for that so okay claudia yeah. yeah would you go in for that i'm not sure because there's some people that you want to be with yeah but you don't exactly want to get married to that person why because mm, maybe I the person's it. mindset is not there yet or maybe mm. it should be a temporary thing you just want to see if there's something there you know Go experience ahead. it before you make any decisions because sometimes you only like someone for the moment sometimes you really? you look at someone yeah. and that's not husband material but that's boyfriend material wow so so what you're trying to tell me is that mm. if, you, if if someone approaches you yeah. obviously and for you, you for you you think he's not a husband material yeah, yeah. but he's still got the qualities yeah. and he has not shown it how would you know if you've not tried or if you've not you know been be with a person and obviously that person <laughs> is heaven sent that's the person god has sent you and that is your future husband that is the man god says you have to marry and you've already <laughs> concluded <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> He's that's why that's what my boyfriend material is because you get to experience and I believe in no one is perfect and stuff like that. Oh. So it's about building the person. If for example, most men expect women to cook. And yeah, someone, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then someone can be with you and I think if you like someone, maybe teach them, go to some classes with them, you know, yeah, basically yeah. build the person to build who you person. want them yeah, to be yeah. without changing them or you know, just grow and stuff like that. Yeah. But sometimes like I get what you mean. It's like being when it, sometimes you will see a guy and you will see that this guy is a boyfriend material because the person lacks certain qualities. Because like some of them they might not be so mature. Because a lot of people might get money now and then all they spend their money on is partying, buying expensive stuff, not saving and all that. That person and like that person, if you see that person, you might think, oh, this person like. You can't, it's not a husband or two, yeah, it's not there yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, not there yet. Mm-hmm. Alright, so the question is, is it good for two couples or two couples to date for one? Why? Yes, we have to date before marriage. Because how are we gonna how are we gonna know? Because we need to know, like we need to know each other. Let me get me, let me bring church in. Because you know, we are Christians, so yeah. Christians, and some of yeah. the churches I wouldn't nominate any church, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. but some of the churches do not approve dating. What do you think about? To me, I think we need to date. Basically, we need to date, like because dating will make you know the person's the person well, like very well. Because if you don't, if you don't date the person, how would you know the person's big side and then? Like you know, weakness and all that. So yeah, but they'll tell you you need you guys have to pray and that. No, sometimes pray. like yeah, Holy Spirit is I know, I understand you. Hey, Jesus. Yes, <laughs> but then whilst you're dating, dating, I like listen. I know why a lot of um, our mothers and our parents just say that we shouldn't date and all that, and then elders, churches like just do not say that because nowadays I think the youths, um, <coughs> you know, the youths just disobey it and then go over 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 the dating thing the, the thing is dating is just about sex and you know all that but then if you think you are very serious and you're very um, religious and all that you can just be in a relationship with this man or guy or a woman that or the lady and not have all those romance sex in the relationship but then talk about how you guys want to build each other. each other how you guys are planning the future how you guys are going to finish your education achieve certain goals and all that so yeah you have to be in a relationship you have to date but then girls and boys please no sex before mine <laughs> 
Right. So capable of spoken mm-hmm. a lot about that. But um, I just want to come in a little bit. You know, why do you think that, um, or why do, you know, let me ask you to, yeah, sorry, I'm not saying I'm too old. I'm also young, but yeah. I'm, I brought them in because I, I wanted them to, you know, tell me about these yeah. reasons why. Because, no you know, when you, when, you, when you get to a certain age, let's say from, nowadays I wouldn't even say 16 because 11 years yeah. to, from 11, to 20 <laughs> they've got boyfriends and girlfriends yeah. and the yeah, thing is they've grown up and then they have to be in a relationship yeah. no matter what because i see a lot of them outside you know kissing and hugging and doing something it's sometimes it, it's too much yeah but the question is what at what age do you think you have to be in a relationship or you have to date to me to me you have to be mentally I would say from 25 upwards, yeah, but okay. below, oh, no, 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 I wouldn't even say 25, uh-huh. let me put it this way, because obviously once you are um, 18, you know, 18 is you're still young, because some people might be 20, but then they are not mature, oh, well, that's true, those 18, you know. so let's put it this way, I wouldn't put an age, uh, a specific age, but I'll say that if you are mentally and physically and spiritually ready, ready you, must you, must, <laughs> you, you, you have to be ready for it because you, you just don't go into relationship or you just don't have to start dating because you think everyone is doing it, so oh, you have to date them. Because, hello, I've got so many friends who are getting married. I've got so many who are still getting married. That doesn't mean I have to get married or I have to be going to marriage. No, marriage is a very, it's a long journey. So you have to be ready for it. You have to, you know, steady yourself. Just have time for yourself in this single life. You know, you need to know yourself very well before marriage. So guys, you need to wait patiently to go continue praying. Have fun with yourself in your single yeah. life. Right <laughs> come yeah. on, you don't need to force yourself because everyone is getting a boyfriend. You have to get one. But then you ask the question though. Right. You said, what's the right time for you to be you know, in a relationship? You just said you didn't even ask it. All right. Okay. All right, right. So to me, I think there's no age limit, as she said, because. I might say 18, and then I might say 20, sorry, and then someone who is 18 might be mature or be wiser, no, wiser would be like, yeah, yeah, than the person who is 20. So it should be like, if you're ready to take care of yourself and ready to take care of someone else, then why not? Yeah, so that's what I would say. Um, you should go in relationship or start dating if you're ready for ready for you to be able to take care of someone else. Right, so probably what you think. It seems like you're talking too much. No, at the same time, I think you should be able to live your best life, see the world, do a lot of things before you know, get into something really serious or committed because it's a lot of attention, demanding commitment and stuff like that. And sometimes someone may feel a bit left out. I think that's why people go and seek that attention. You're not going to go somewhere else. Yeah. So do you ever feel like you want to do in life quite early and then go to someone and yeah. get ready for it? Yeah. True. Because a lot of girls go in a relationship and then when they break up with their partner, then they, th- they start to have like low self-esteem, low self-confidence. And they well, just true. think that... Um, they can't do stars without their boyfriends or without mm. their partners, which is very bad. So I think when you're young, you just have to, you know, achieve, ex- explore, like explore a lot of things before you get into a relationship and then stress about the whole lot. Because it's very stressful. It's fun sometimes, but it's stressful sometimes as well. So yeah, we should be having all this together before going into the Right. So let me read this Love is patience, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It's not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self seeking. It is not easy. Yeah, it keeps.
keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not dislike the truth, but it rejoices with the truth. Seven, it always protects, trusts, hopes, and hopes. Yes, yes, yes. Love never fails. Love always rules. Let me put it down with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. So, if you're out there and you think you're not loved, you think uh, you don't have a boyfriend, you think your family, your friends, no one loves you, I just want to tell you that God loves you. There's someone out there who loves you. And that, um, just put yourself together. It's Bob's Day. You don't need to go out because everyone is going out. Get some, you know, strawberry beer. Yeah, yeah, you know, she's got some. But also, also, I would say, if, you know, <laughs> and also, if um, you feel that you're not being loved by your friends, you've not got a lot of friends around you, you've not got a lot of people around you that love you, that care for you, you can love yourself. Because if you start so loving love. yourself, then I think that one attracts yeah. a lot of people yeah. around you. Yeah. So you should love yourself so much that someone else will love you too. Because if you don't love yourself, well, how do you expect me to love you? Because so you don't love yourself. Yeah. So yeah. Then basically, I'm not going to love you. So yeah. Be that maybe the person that's supposed to be with you is not in, you know, around you. Maybe you need to go out there in the world. Maybe you can see because yeah. it's like this business. Maybe you want to sell something. You know, your customers will be here. Yeah, they may be somewhere else. Exactly. So you need to go out there and find the best time. And also, um, I think we've missed it. Like, we missed, we missed it. If you want to start going in a relationship like a serious and you think you're ready for a partner, you should pray about it. And if you have one already, you should pray about the person because the person might not be the right one. Yeah, so all the time I would say prayer is the key. You should pray. Even if you know that you're not a good Christian, like try and communicate with God because God can do all things. So yeah, that's what I would say to you all. And I've got some few books that will help you guys if you are a relationship or if you are in a relationship or if you are in a relationship. So one is a, a woman after God's heart and uh, two is life lessons for my sisters, love lessons for my sisters, then act like a lady, think like a man, and then the last one, the weights. So I'm going to link all these books in the description box. You guys have to go and read these books. It, it will really help you guys, you know. So yeah, this is all for today. Thank you for watching. And um, check these girls out on their show. Shows. Yes. And I've also shows. got um, a YouTube channel. So my name on YouTube. So <laughs> so That's fine. English is not a language. So, yeah. And run a I've got a YouTube channel as well. My name is Ohima Capable. So you can just go and check me out out there. I don't have a YouTube channel, but I do have an Instagram. It's yeah. Claws underscore B. So C L A R D. Well, she leave it in the description. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. Okay. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like the videos, share the videos, subscribe, and then we'll see you in the next video. So for now.